love to get into these lost 45s on this on these fancy playlists. Of course, it's got a lot of standards on this fancy playlist, but it's the lost 45s. And boy, this song, it just fell right through the cracks. And it's been years since I heard this record. Nice, jazzy record. Think of people like Quincy Jones, George Duke, gosh, who else? Al Jarreau. This record, Any Mini by Jeffrey Osborne, debuting at number 49. <laughs> yes. Oh, my fancy playlist, March 18, 1983. Nice record. Jeffrey Osborne kicking it back in the day. Remember the song he did, Stay With Me Tonight. Had a great beat to it back in 1984. And he did, I think it was called Borderline. I think the song was called Borderline. I'm not sure, but it had a funky beat. Just a strong beat, that record. Jeffrey Osborne, uh, he came from a musical family. His dad was a trumpet player. He played with legends, uh, Count Basie. And uh, who else did he play with? Louis Armstrong? I believe it might have been Louis Armstrong. No, Duke Ellington. But he passed away when Jeffrey Osborne was 13 years old. Jeffrey, Os Jeffrey Osborne uh, made his name big time when he was in the band LTD. Uh, they did uh, When I Turn Around, Back in Love Again. That was in 1977, and then there was Love Ballad that came out. He, he started out as a drummer with LTD, Jeffrey Osborne. His brother was in the band, and they shared lead singing duties together, but eventually Jeffrey Osborne became the lead singer of LTD, but they left the band. He and his brother, they left the band in 1980. Jeffrey Osborne released his uh, debut album, self-titled, 1982. And uh, the big hit off of that was On the Wings of Love. Barely made top 30 here in the States on Billboard's Hot 100. In England, it went to number 11 on the wings of love, and I really don't need no, no light, which just barely made top 40 here on the States, on the pop charts, that is. I'm sure it did a little bit better on the R&B charts, but I don't think any many even charted. But guess who co-wrote this record? Michael Cimbello, the guy who did Maniac. A hit record in 1983. Michael Cimbello plays guitar on this track. Any mini. Jeffrey Osborne making his debut at number 49 on my fancy playlist of March 18th, 1983.